What up, everybody? All right, so this is day two of the garage cleanup and everything like that. And as you can see, we have all this trash to get rid of. We got the truck full of crap to get rid of. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find a way to strap all this down. We're going to head to the scrap yard. We're going to unload this stuff, get rid of it. And then we're going to load up all this trash, get rid of it. And then finally, the garage will be in a usable shape, a usable status. I'll be able to get work done again. So tonight the plan is pull the green car in and change the engine or at least get it out so I can change it over the next couple days. Either way, we're gonna make some progress on it. That's gonna be a separate video. I'm just trying to prepare the garage for all the winter shenanigans, all the winter building, all the winter magic, all the everything that is going in here and getting built this winter. So we've got project race car. It's going to, it's just got so much stuff, but she looks so pretty on camera. I mean, the camera really just doesn't show how, how rough she is. It makes it look so much better. So I love looking at it in camera because she just looks so pretty. It looks like I have an actual nice drift car instead of some beat up piece of crap. But hey, she gets sideways, she gets down. And I'll tell you what, she's been very reliable. Never giving me a problem. Sat for three years, fired it up, bled the brakes, changed a few things, and she went to the drift event. She went to three drift events. Not a single problem. I wrecked it. Not a single problem. She's a trooper. She's a beast. She's getting some much needed love this winter. I'm, she's going to come out 2018 kicking. And, you know, I'm so excited for that. So stay tuned. I'll bring it back when we get to the scrapyard or something. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. All right. We're here at the scrapyard. Just miles and miles of scrap. And, uh,. We're gonna try to offload this stuff and it's kind of complicated so I'm gonna wait to vlog until I get done here. But we're gonna unload all this stuff and then uh, see what we get out of here. So yeah, stay tuned. All right guys, so it's not the most lucrative. So I, on this steel, I turned in 460 pounds and I got $13.80. Then I scrapped a couple radiators and a couple aluminum wheels at uh, 64 pounds and got $20.40. So obviously, obviously aluminum makes you a lot more money and everything, but you know, hey, it is what it is. I've just made $33 for clearing out a bunch of junk out of my garage. So that's not too bad for me. Plus I got a lot more stuff. I just basically put in the stuff that I really needed to get rid of and I'll save the other stuff for another truckload. All right, so I got my money. I got my $34.20. Yeah, that'll buy me lunch and some gas for the truck. Um, so I'm extremely happy. Got all that scrap, all that stuff. To, got got it rid got rid of it and everything. So now it's out of the garage, and that's just. I mean, you think about it. That's like 600 pounds of crap that was inside my garage. I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's gone. Um, so now we're just. I'm just gonna fast forward to being at the shop and cleaning up the rest. All right, guys. So we're back at the shop and everything like that. So now that we got all the scrap and everything taken care of. Now it's time to get rid of all this trash. So instead of making you watching me clean all this up, I'm just gonna snap my fingers and it'll be done. And it's gone. All right, guys, so now the garage is finally cleaned. It's not perfect. It still needs a lot more work, but I actually have usable space now. So, you know, once I get the green car in here, change the engine, get it out, then I can spend a little bit more time organizing and everything. I got all these tools to go through and stuff like that. I got toolboxes I need to organize. I just, I've been living out of a bag. This is my tool bag. So this is how <laughs> disorganized I am. But that's where all my tools are that I use because I'm always going somewhere or traveling, going to junkyards or whatever, and I need mobile tools and stuff. So I just shove everything I can in that bag and I carry it. So that's the majority of what I use. The rest of this stuff is just little knickknacks that aren't in the bag or whatever. But either ways, I need to stop this habit. It, you know, it's just a bad habit from not having garages in the past and stuff. And I need to organize my toolboxes and utilize my toolboxes and, and try to like you know, step my game up a little bit, you know, I got a decent garage and I might as well use it. So come spring and stuff, I'm going to be redoing, getting rid of a lot of these cabinets and stuff. I'm going to keep my workbenches and stuff all down here, but I'm just going to try to free up a, a much more usable space. But until then, this is basically, this is the clutch kicker garage. I mean, <laughs> I actually have some room in it now and I can actually do some work. So I'm excited. So yeah, that's going to close out this video. I know it wasn't nothing too exciting, but it's just stuff I have to do. So I just thought I'd get it done and I figured why not make a video about it. But either way, please uh, like, share, subscribe if you're not um, already. And uh, just stay tuned to future videos and more content. We got um, 
lots to do, lots of projects, lots to get done, drifting next year, and, um, you know, the wife's drift car, you know, my drift car, just, you know, lots of stuff to do, so stay tuned, thanks for watching, alright, I'm out, I'm done rambling. <laughs>